Next, we are going to create an environment pass and again, we are going to do a big time fake creating a sort of a backscatter pass. TDs, please get yourself a coffee. Black magic, please give us a backscatter shader. So let's move down here and get some space. For the environment, we need a sphere. Create a shape 3D. Set it to sphere and make it huge, like 100. Let's rename this to world sphere. Good. Now replace its material. We're going to assign the same material. Remember here, we had the HDR, we blurred it. And used to kind of fake image based lighting. We're going to use the same material for the background. So this is our huge world sphere. Assign the reflective material to it and you should be getting something like this. Next, drop in a merge 3D. And let's go back and grab an instance of the camera. Always the same. Seriously. A guy I know we always used to say, it's always the same shit. So get a copy of a renderer as well. Make sure everything is set correctly. Triangle, sample rate to 5, texture depth to source, and of course the image bit depth, which is 16 bit. And don't forget the resolution. Hey, you just got yourself an environment. Now let's get to the big time fake which is the backscatter pass. Let's just grab another copy while we already here. The renderer will be the same, so no touching. Leave it as it is. Of course, we also need a camera here. You can create another camera instance or just use this one here since it's pretty close. Let's use this one. This time we also need a point light. For now, just drop it in. We'll set it up in a minute. Create a replace material. Now, you could either alt click to create a router and then connect it to our replace material. If you don't want to cross your whole tree though, you could also delete this router again and branch out here, move it outwards, make another router and come in from the outside. That way you keep your composition easier to read. Okay, so now we have our material replaced with nothing. So let's add a new material. For that, we choose a blin. Hook it in and let's set its RGB values. Set the red to 0 0.82. The green to 0 0.69 and the blue to 0 0.63. Now comes the important part. Are you still with me? I know it's a lot, but bear with me. Since Fusion doesn't yet have a backscatter shader, we have to kind of fake it again. We can do that by adding a replace normals, view it, and choose flip normals, and bang, you can see the idea now, don't you? We are lighting the back sides because we flipped the normals. Now let's hook this into the Merge 3D node, view it. Very important, let's just lock the camera so we don't accidentally move it. Open the viewer here, 
to get the perspective view and examine our scene. Our light is right in the center, so we want to move this a bit to the right. Well, just try to match what I'm doing here. It doesn't have to be precise. Let's also change the color. We can do the tweaking later on when we do the compositing. For now, I just want to show you how to set up your passes. Let's move on to the next pass or layer. We're gonna create something cool. For our background, we take advantage of the Ribbon 3D tool. 